Speaking of viewers, I've forgotten about this part of the printer. This is a back part, the paper feed mechanism. Cool little wheels with nice sort of upper tires on there. Very cool. They have to clip out somehow to get these wheels out. Interesting stuff. March 11th, 2008, product in Malaysia. Just got these off eBay recently. More MOSFETs. IRFP260s. And more IRFP260s. Here's some IRFP250s. I only spotted one or two of them are IRFP250Ns, which I think are the fake ones, but pretty good bargain. I'm happy with those. I can keep experimenting trying to get my ZVS to work and have plenty of spare MOSFETs. Haven't had much time at all to play with it, so. Let's just plug this in and see what it does. I don't, I don't think it'll do anything. I'll put a, I'll put a variac on it. I'll slowly, slowly crank it up and see if I can get anything out of the 4KV um, output there. Okay, viewers, this is a first for me. I've never seen these sort of connectors before, but you wedge a screwdriver in there and push down, and it's like a little jaw that opens up. I've never seen one of these style connectors before. The screwdriver's a bit too uh, big. Interesting. There you go, I never knew those sorts of um, quick connectors existed. I thought I thought these had a screw tie up. That's nifty. Okay, if yours, I changed the plan slightly here. I've got a 600 watt vacuum cleaner here as a ballast. Ballast the whole unit. Let's vary out, tear it up. Hold on, 50 volts. Yeah, I think it's dead. Variac down, switch that off, unplug safety first, very important. Check if the vacuum cleaner's even turned on. Yep, it's turned on. Yeah, that ballast is dead, Jim. Nothing's working, so it's completely dead, that ballast. Power on, uh, version zero, power on. Turn up more. Yeah, it's dead. Absolutely nothing happening. Unplug safety first. No arcs, no bangs, no pops. It's dead, Jim. Unplug that, unplug that. I'll be parting that ballast out then. I'll be getting some good useful bits off that. And the rest I'll probably just microwave. That'll be a weekend video if I get a chance. Yeah, just because it doesn't work doesn't mean this capacitor's not charged. So let it sit and dissipate. I'll plug those wires. I'll let that sit for a while and dissipate before I move this lead. So that'll sit on the workbench in the corner. Add a mine the site and that'll uh, Dissipate safely till I can uh, work on it. Might have more fun with this in the weekend too if I get a chance. Keep those capacitors healthy. Anyway, viewers, that's uh, our voice hack before I go. Had a go at rewriting this MOT again. About 10 volts there and a couple of uh, ridiculous amount of amps. I took the other bloody um, booster cable off there because it got a bit stiff and cracked up. This is the main earthing wire out of a wiring loom of an old car. To actually properly wind one of these things, you cut these welds, pop the bottom off, carefully remove the primary and the shunts, make a block of wood to measure the same dimensions as the core, and tightly wind your secondary. Nice and tightly. The tight, more tightly packed, the more efficiently the transformer would work. And to make these uh, primaries last more than five minutes and not run so warm, for a 240 volt transformer, you add another 50 turns of the primary. And that makes it a continuously uh, rated transformer. So that's quite a good way to uh, salvage one of these things to make them uh, not so damn dangerous. You can actually make quite a useful transformer in one of these if you have enough time and bloody effort to make them efficient. Anyway, viewers, that's my little Waffle Electronic update for today, so 
Thanks so much.